Good afternoon. My name is Scott Rudd, the Chief Strategic Officer at T3Live.com. Welcome to today's recap and look ahead. 观众朋友们，大家好，欢迎收看今天的直击美股。我是主持人林健，在纽约向您问好。周四美股全线下跌，金融板块虽然有所上扬，但是在科技板块的拖累之下，大盘持续的走低。昨天晚间，美联储公布了银行压力测试结果，所有参与压力测试结果的三十四家提供金融服务的企业全部通过了测试，这也就意味着他们可以执行向股东返还资本的计划。而美联储认为，美国最大的数十家金融企业资本十分的雄厚，即便出现衰退，也能够有能力向金融机构持续的放贷。受此影响，欧亚以及美股当中的金融板块持续上涨，但是科技股表现不佳，拖累了大盘。其中 ，Facebook、Amazon、Netflix 以及谷歌母公司 Alphabet 的下跌幅度均超过百分之一点五。而今天公布的经济数据可谓好坏参半。一方面，美国劳工统计局公布的上周首申失业金人数达到了二十四点四万人，高于预期的二十四万人。而另一方面，美国一季度的 GDP 增幅由百分之一点二上修为百分之一点四。而纵观全球，亚洲股市高开高收。而欧洲股市受到了欧元上涨的影响而承压下跌。好的，更多的消息，让我们来听一下今天的教育员访谈。Hi Scott, the U.S. stock falls on Thursday, and we have been gone through the big ups and big downs recently. So, what do you think of stock today? I think people don't want to get caught in some type of corrective phase. We're in the eighth year of a bull、yeah. market. Usually, it goes about seven or eight. So, when things get a little testy, I think some traders like to pull back and reduce risk. A little bit, and if you look here at the chart of the S and P cash, you know it doesn't really look like much. But we have been toying with this key level right here. Okay, usually when you're above the eight and twenty-one day moving average, it's healthier. Well, now we're starting to break and, and trade around it, so it's a little, it's just a little testier. What do we do today? We broke below this、uh, 24.15, but held the 50 day. So it's like a step-by-step -step process. Right now we're below the eight and twenty-one day. If we stay below that, that means momentum is continuing to be lost. First, you know, first time we hit the the 50-day, typically you, you bounce off it. The next time we hit it, we might not be as、uh, as bouncy. If you look at the weekly chart, because this tells you a short-term picture, you know, the market's come a long way. So, with that being said, <laughs> look where we are up here. So, if we happen to get our first five, ten, fifteen percent correction. Active traders don't want to be caught at this point. We're still trending here, so if you, this is your bigger picture shot, but if we happen to break this spot, you know what? There's, there's definitely some room to the downside, and、uh, the last thing you want to do is be caught if you're actively looking for P/L and cash flow. Actually, today there are some strong gains from big banks. Or、well, would you like to share some stock on your watch list? Well, you know the banks. Are stronger usually when you have a hawkish Fed, and it seems like the central bankers、yeah. around the world are saying they want to be more hawkish.、Um, we've basically seen, you know, good action from the banks, and then the stress test was 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 solid, right? Thirty-four banks all passed; they're now able to do dividends, and they're all able to、uh, buy back stocks. So they could have a bid, and if the banks stay strong, it'll be hard for the markets to correct a little bit further. If you look here at the XLF, the XLF has it's had a big move already. This is your weekly chart. Okay, this was one move for the XLF post-election, and then recently it just held going sideways, and now it broke this little descending trend line here. Remember last time, people were saying this could be, you know,、um, a head and shoulders top with the left shoulder, the head, but then this right shoulder got, you know, blown out to the upside. So now the question is, you know, are we in an environment where people are are, are in fear of missing out on a bigger move in the banks? At this point, they do look bullish. Okay, they look okay.、Um, And you know, if that continues, it's going to be hard for the bears to growl. And if you look at the daily chart,、um, you know, it, it、uh, still looks healthy. So again, for the summer, there are some funds and some flows going to the banks. At this point, short term, the XLF, in my opinion, needs to hold、um, 2451. If it could hold 2451, there's still a chance it continues to all-time highs. But just be careful buying strength and make sure into a new quarter, which we have next、uh, week. That the current、uh, trends stay intact. We never know what's going to happen tomorrow, but we have to come up with、uh, our own plans. So we do think now is a good time to come up with our plans because we just almost finished our first half of our of our years. Yeah, so it's good to have a plan A, B, and C. Okay, by having a, a plan A, B, and C, you could then move fast when the market confirms either one of them. And at this point, I think we're in a little bit of a vulnerable state, so that's why I'm cash tonight. So this way, I could maybe play verse 
today's low, or if we bounce, maybe sell into a bounce if resistance comes into play until we get more clarity on what the summer trend will be come July and August. So for now, I would just be light, less long, less short if you're active, but if you are a long-term investor, stay the course, this too shall pass, have a monthly plan. Okay, that's all we have today. 好的，感谢您的收看，感谢 Scott 的精彩点评，我们下期再见。